the hit TV series Grace and Frankie stars Lily Tomlin, Jane Fonda, Sam Waterston, Martin Sheen, and tells the story of two women whose already strained relationship becomes even more complicated when they learn that their husbands are not just work partners but have been romantically involved for the last 20 years. So stay tuned and don't go away because we're revealing the end of Grace and Frankie Season 7 Explained plus other related news. First up, does Grace and Frankie give the pair the ending they truly deserve? You're about to find out. The beloved series Grace and Frankie has come to an end after seven seasons, and the frenemies turned besties essentially became the ultimate power couple. Somehow, they've managed to integrate their blended families into one, and despite their dysfunctionality, have a happy existence. Together, the women confronted their own mortality and try to keep themselves positive, but their attempts are complicated by the fact that one of them claims to know the exact date they're going to die. In the final episodes, Grace appears to resolve many of the issues that have been troubling her, including her issues with her ex-husband Nick, who wrote a book about his life of crime. In the memoir, Nick says that their marriage was actually his biggest regret because he was the most hurt by their time together. Grace and Nick sleep together one more time for old time's sake and then go their separate ways. Next on Grace's issues to resolve list was reconnecting with her brother Jeffrey, whom she had been estranged from for approximately 20 years. Frankie, on the other hand, spends her time convinced she's going to die and hosts a fake funeral. However, during Coyote and Jessica's fake marriage, Frankie's microphone connects with Grace's vodka martini and the two are electrocuted. They head to heaven together and meet an angel named Agnes, played by Dolly Parton. So the series really did give Grace and Frankie the proper send-off and ending they truly deserve, but as you're about to see, the story doesn't quite end there. Next up, what happened after Grace and Frankie met with Dolly Parton? Let's take a look. After meeting with Dolly Parton, audiences learn that it isn't Grace's time to enter the pearly gates, but that it's Frankie's, and so they say their goodbyes. The scene was absolutely heartbreaking to watch, and highlighted the fact that Grace and Frankie had come full circle and had developed a very special bond. Grace helps Frankie paint an image of them having fun at the beach, and as the screen fades to black, the pair take one last walk on the beach. The ending implies that Grace and Frankie will be there for one another until the end. But how did things pan out for Robert and Saul? After many years of wanting to be together, Robert and Saul finally leave their wives for one another at the start of the series, and the bulk of the show centers around their new blended families doing their best to get along and find some semblance of common ground. And although Robert and Saul seem to be living their dream life and are happy together, their relationship isn't without its challenges and complications. In Season 7, Robert's memory problems worsen, and Saul pleads with him to see a doctor, but a stubborn Robert refuses to admit that his mental acuity is waning. Eventually, however, Robert is forced to admit there's something wrong because he can't remember the night he and Saul shared their first kiss. Up next, how does Grace and Frankie end for the rest of the cast? Let's find out. For most of the characters, Grace and Frankie ends on a fairly positive note. Brianna loses her job and breaks up with Barry, but there's a silver lining there. She gets what she desperately needs, a fresh start. Brianna tries to warn her sister when she learns that Mallory is going to be fired from her job, but Mallory is fired anyway. But instead of Brianna saying, I told you so, which is what we'd expect, she proposes that they start a new company together, and almost immediately an argument over the name of the company ensues. The Brianna and Mallory dynamic essentially reinforces a common theme or thread in Grace and Frankie that some connections people share are for life. As far as Bud is concerned, he quits his job to pursue his dreams, and Jessica and Coyote get married for real after their fake wedding. Critics are saying that the series finale of Grace and Frankie reminds viewers of what made them fall in love with the characters in the first place, and shows audiences that the aging process is something to be embraced and not feared. The final episode is the perfect send-off for all of the characters involved, and it left audiences more than satisfied. Stay tuned and don't go away, because we're revealing everything we know about Grace and Frankie. Next up is Grace and Frankie getting a spin-off? You're about to find out. Actor June Diane Raphael, who plays Brianna, is reportedly working on a series that centers around her main character. Clearly, there's a market for content about women of all ages, so long as it's superbly written. Raphael has been working on a spin-off script for her character, who's a strong-willed 40-year-old executive who is loved by audiences for her sharp wit and the fiercely independent side of her that always speaks her mind. Raphael said, fans will see that the way the show ends, there's more to say about Brianna's story. The original Grace and Frankie showed audiences what it means to be in their 70s and 80s. Raphael hopes that her spin-off series will reveal to audiences what it means to be a middle-aged woman without kids or a husband, which she says is just as exciting. Raphael said the idea for a spin-off series about her character came when she was filming season 4 and 5 of Grace and Frankie. After getting the idea, Raphael immediately approached interested producers. In a recent interview, Raphael explained, We spent months, honestly, just talking through the idea that women's currency is devalued to our culture as we get older, and a lot of times, it's the opposite for men. And we talked about what Brianna is potentially losing and gaining as she ages alone, and how a woman who is alone can create a deep fear in so many people. Up next, what are Grace and Frankie's 
these ageless beauty secrets. Let's have a look. When it comes to their beauty secrets and styles, Grace and Frank have two different looks. Grace has a classic and elegant look, while Frankie's style has been called earthy and bohemian. There are a lot of behind-the-scenes hair and makeup secrets that make these beautiful ladies pop out on screen. Grace owned a cosmetics company, so she was familiar with beauty techniques and styles, and it's also why she always seemed so polished and put together. Grace also embraces her natural silver hair color, and her makeup tones were adjusted to match her new hair color. Fonda's makeup artist, David DeLeon, explained, I used a slightly lighter base color and cooler neutral tones in the lips, cheeks, and eyes. To bring out her gaze, I focused mostly on the eyes, smudging lids with cool, smoky tones of pewter and gray with a few warm peach tones to bring out the blue in her eyes. Lily Tomlin's makeup artist is Bonita De Haven, who was responsible for transforming Tomlin into the Frankie that everyone came to know and love. According to De Haven, Frankie is a blend of eccentric, free-spirited hippie, and De Haven's goal was to give Tomlin a natural look that would enhance her beautiful features. And unlike Grace, Frankie's clothing was much bolder and vivid. Finally, is Grace and Frankie a show for women who don't see themselves on television? With a total of 94 episodes, Grace and Frankie took audiences where no other series had taken them before, inside the lives of older women, who are forced to restart their lives both socially and sexually after their 40-year marriages fell apart in the oddest of ways, with their husbands revealing that they had been lovers for 20 years and were getting married. So the show definitely broke new ground when it premiered in 2015 because of its brutally honest portrayals of its leading and aging characters. In fact, older women are the least visible demographic on TV, and seeing them star in a major series is highly irregular. If you think hard for a second, the only real precedent for Grace and Frankie that will come to mind is The Golden Girls, which aired between 1985 and 1992. In season one of The Golden Girls, the main characters are Rose at 55, Dorothy at 53, Blanche is 47, and Sophia is 79. In the Sex and the City reboot titled, and just like that, Miranda and Charlotte are 54 while Carrie is 55. However, they are not portrayed as old, but rather still young and hip. At the start of the series, Grace, Frankie, and their ex-husbands, Robert and Saul, are in their 70s. But what makes Grace and Frankie so unique and special when compared to other shows is that it focuses on issues of aging, but from the perspective of the aged. The series takes audiences through a range of health issues, such as arthritis, immobility, knee reconstruction, and even mini strokes. That's a wrap for today's video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.